Okay, howdy everybody! Let's get this thing going! I am Vormithrax, this is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We are continuing the saga of Stephanie Strange, Cyclist Supreme. Hopefully we get more cyclist action going on this evening. <laughs> we didn't get any on uh, on Monday's stream, so we're going to ride our bike. Today we're going to ride our bike. I swear, there will be cycling in our Cyclist Supreme uh, challenge. Uh, so yeah, so Stephanie Strange the third, our third incarnation, we managed to get past the initial difficulty factors, and now we've got all new difficulty factors to deal with, uh, literally, with the um, sort of broken evolution mechanic when I updated in the middle of a challenge run, and apparently some change that was made on one of the updates, um, yeah, just, just did a hack job on my evolution. So we were getting uh, Predators and Necromancers and uh, Incandescent Husks on day 12. That's uh, that's pretty early, even for my double speed evolution factor. I don't usually see that kind of stuff in any kind of numbers until day 30 or so. So yeah, that's uh, that's changed things a bit, but we'll, we'll work around it. We'll just consider it a, a bonus, bonus difficulty factor that got added in. Uh, I'm okay with it. Um, so yeah, here's Stephanie. 14 strength, that's a 12 base with a plus 2 from a cybernetic, and 889, nothing too impressive there. We are overweight, we'll, 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 we'll deal with that. Uh, skills, we've managed to finally get some decent skills. Tailoring 7, Fab 9, and that's about it. <laughs> first aid 3, but we've got the means to uh, raise first aid. Um, we've got the means to raise a bunch of stuff. Should we want, need, desire to? So I'm going to have to make some decisions on just exactly what we're going to do. Um, yeah, so we got some options. On the trait side, though, for the negatives, fast metabolism, heavy sleeper, imperceptive healer. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> so fun. Imperceptive healer on top of the normally slow healing. It is slow. Now it is slow. Um, yeah, I, I'm still not sure if I would settle for this as my default. Uh, I think the next one up, the poor healer, is probably the one I would settle on as my default. Slow enough to make me more cautious and uh, give consequence to fighting, but not just really damn slow. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, and then squeamish, no big deal there. On the positive side, Fleetfoot, indefatigable martial arts training, night vision, and robust genetics. We took Taekwondo with our martial arts, but uh, we've also just recently picked up Escrima. That's going to be a really good counterpoint to our Taekwondo. There's going to be times where I'll use either or, and um, I'm really happy about the Eskrima book that we found. Uh, on the Bionic side, we haven't changed much. We started with all these as a Bionic Cyclist, so Muscle Aug is the plus two strength, Adrenaline Pump, Hydraulic Muscles, and Metabolic Interchange. Um, ah, there we go. I'm pointing at things and you guys aren't seeing it because I didn't have the window uh, focused. Uh, all right, so yeah, we're, we're in good shape. We got all bandages going on for some of our damaged locations here, trying to get back up to full. And when we finished off Monday's stream, we had just got back from looting out all of the barracks and libraries that we had here in this particular section. Um, yeah, so we got no more libraries or anything like that in here. Eh, mutagen vault, I'm not too worried about that for now. Um, but yeah, we had gotten the metalworking finished up, so we've got a pretty good set of gear on now. Uh, may or may not be the final gear. It's basically a full light survivor suit with a heavy helmet thrown on. Just cause, there's no reason not to have a heavy helmet. Um, yeah, and survivor backpack, duffel bag, pretty good stuff. It's tough enough that I can usually not have it get shredded and get it repaired up when I get back to base before I head out again. Uh, so we shouldn't have too much turnover in that regard any longer. So I, I like the setup here. Uh, but the pickaxe. Pickaxe was the big thing we finally got added in. So we got our metalworking stuff all finished up. And we were able to get the uh, pickaxe created. We got our survivor telescope created. We got uh, a quiver with the bow. We, we got a lot of stuff. So... Um, there's a few things that I'm really, really debating whether I want to deal with them. Uh, we do have another lab that we located. You'll notice... Uh, oh, i got to go down another level. Yeah, we, you notice up here, we did find a second lab in a basement of a house. And we've got a barracks. Then we've got a containment, uh, another barracks, and another barracks. <laughs> so, it's only two floors deep. So that was kind of sad making, but um, we got a bunch of barracks we could go get. It's right there in that house. 
Uh, that would pretty much finish out that lab. That's a CVD finale floor. I'm not likely to be able to actually use that CVD machine. And then we got the nanofab uh, finale here in this science lab. Again, nothing too useful down there for me to, to do anything with. Uh, barring finding another nano finale lab and getting better better uh, blueprints. Uh, so yeah, and that's all we've been. Just this tiny, tiny amount. Uh, we've done all of our time right here in this little area. We've kind of looted out most of the decent stuff in this part of the city. We had just started to kind of work our way over here in the darkness, so we didn't get much explored. Um, I'm really hoping to find an apartment tower or something up here that I can uh, get to the top of with my my trusty telescope so we can get a good look around. Um, so far, we haven't managed that. So I'm thinking we might... Uh, I really, really don't want to do a daytime bicycle trip, but I might be forced to. Uh, we do have some other stuff in a few other places, but um, nothing nothing of note, really. I don't know where any schools are. We are missing some very important um, books. We, we're gapped on a few books, which is kind of unhappy making. Um, I've got all of the computer books except the first one. I've got the mid and the high level computer books, but I can't use them because we can't get computers one to three. So that's not good. I think we just got, yeah, electronics to three. Eh, then we need four from there. That's funny. So we're, we're gapped one level on electronics to proceed. Mechanics, I'm not too worried about getting too high. Uh, we've got it to three currently. And I think I've got... I uh, got mechanics four for internal combustion. Uh, we, we got some, but mechanics isn't a big priority. I'm not doing a lot of vehicle stuff this run, so uh, we're going to stick with our bicycle. Pedal power all the way and uh, see if we can finish out a run that way. Um, yeah, first aid is probably my biggest priority. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have mechanics to six from mechanical mastery. Um, and then maybe to seven. Eh, it doesn't matter. So, uh, first aid is definitely the big priority. Get that thing maxed out. Um, we've got all the books to do it. we got first aid for the guide to advanced, advanced emergency care. So, I can pump that all the way to eight. Which will be good, because we do have plans on doing some CBMs this run. So, getting a high first aid skill for the uh, dissection process to at least get a little bit of a benefit or boost out of it would be good. I'd like to get at least one or two more... Um, of the Mark II power storage, so we can get some extra power. I'm also planning on doing ma or magic a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. A little focused magic learning. Um, so I have to kind of balance things out there. What? Did the stream already go bump? <laughs> Jeez. I don't know if that's Twitch or if that's uh, my ISP, but looks like we went bump already. That's a little, uh, a little rough for right at the beginning. Ten minutes in, we've already got a uh, hiccup in the internet. Uh, yeah, so I don't need to raise fab really anymore. Yeah, there's not really that many books I can read right now, so it's going to be first aid. Now, the other one that i got to consider is we do have a couple of magic things. We've got um, the Book of Trees, which is really cool, really good for us, because it's got actually um, some spells that are kind of archery focused and related. So, yeah, we're going to we're going to give that a try. We'll see if we can learn some of that. Um if you take a look, it's got nature's bow, difficulty 6, so I'd need to uh get my spellcraft skill up quite a bit in addition to the leveling of this. Um and then it gives us a spell that conjures a magical wooden recurve bow that fires endless arrows for as long as it lasts. So, I wouldn't have to carry a quiver of arrows around. I'm not sure what kind of damage it does. I don't know if it's based on what, what, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's got different stats than a normal recurve bow or if it's literally a recurve bow. And I don't know what, uh, what level or uh, type of arrows that it's considered when it fires. So there's quite a few differences there. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to study it up and give it a try. These other ones are mostly, these two are slowing down of enemies, um, that's an impaling strike. So we, we may, may or may not be able to do those. But I've never done the druid stuff, so I think it'll go fairly well with uh, with the, the one we're doing here. I'd really, really like to get haste, and uh, there was another utility spell, and I can't remember which one it was. Um, escape would be good, but yeah, there's only really a few things I'd like to try. I'd like to try some of this druid stuff, and I'd like haste and one or two of the other utility spells. And that's pretty much all I'm going to focus on, so we don't need a ton of mana for that kind of thing. Um, so we'll try to be balancing out our mana and our CBM power. 
Uh, but that's another thing I'm thinking I might need to focus on before we take off into the big bad world. Um, but we definitely need to get moving because I, I, I got to get that computer book. It's really, really stop gapping me. Um, so finding a school would probably get me everything I need. Just one school is all I really need to locate. And I think I'm likely to get all the books that I'm missing currently out of a school. So we'll have to do a little bit of traveling. Uh, or, well, yeah, there's no or. I, I can't raise my computer skill without a book. Um, there's just no way to get it to three, real realistically, without one of the books. So we'll, uh, we'll see. But we're going to first do a little bit more reading in here. I've got plenty of food um, for quite a while. We, we've been bringing back just hordes of food. So we'll be okay there for a bit. Um, plus, we're still, we're still eating the, uh, the bug, the owlbear, the owlbear that showed up. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan. We'll do a little bit more uh, reading, and then we'll take our trip. We'll get our bicycle out, and we'll, uh, we'll go for a drive or bike ride. Uh, so let's get the first aid done. Uh, I, I, got, I really got nothing else I want to do there. Let's grab the uke. And, oh, the fairy tale and the sci-fi novel, I think. And what else I got over here? Recurve, bow sling, and headgear. No, nope, don't need those. All right, let's, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's pump focus up even a little further. All right, and I'm overweight. Do I have any other morale effects? Uh, can't use? No. All right. Let's take um, take a hit of Toastums and a chocolate bar. Where are you, chocolate bar? All right. And let's just get reading on the old first aid. Get that thing maxed out. Five levels of first aid coming right up. Uh, there we go. Yep. This should go... F oh, whoops. Wield. <laughs> Forgot to uh, put my ukulele into, into operation here. Activate. Now continue reading. There we go. Now I got my music spam. This is going to take days. <laughs> this is going to take five levels of this at uh, Intelligence 8. This is going to take a while. I'll be lucky if I get two levels a day. I think I'll just not eat for a while. We'll lose some weight. Get rid of that overweight status. There's a new change. Oh yeah, the uh, the coloring. Uh, sepia is gone. Yay, sepia is gone. <laughs> so there was uh, an update. A PR finally pushed through and approved that uh, gives you the option in your graphics menu to uh, switch back from sepia back to the original coloring. So no more sepia for me. I I'm I, I'm happy for the people that liked it or didn't mind it, but I yeah I'm glad sepia is no longer required. If you're curious, just go to options, graphics, and map memory drawing mode. It can either be sepia or darkened. Darkened is the original. Sepia was the newer color. So there we go. That's how you switch it. Assuming you're on uh, one of the newer releases. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and have some clean water. Have another toastum. Plus 10 toastum, plus 15 toastum, plus 20 toastum, and another chocolate bar. Alright, we are tired already. Let's see if we can get partway in. Take advantage of this morale boost that I just gave myself. I don't want to go dead tired. Damn it. <laughs> I went dead tired. I <laughs> uh, love it how I say it and it happens. Hug. All right. That's fine, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to treat those wounds anymore. I'll just let them do their really, really tiny amount of healing to get back up to the full. Um, don't think we need to do anything else, really. So we got, what, two, not quite two and a half levels. That's that's not too bad. Maybe two more days max and we'll have first aid finished up. I'm a little scared at what's going to happen to my evolution <laughs> with the way it's currently broke. I'm going to walk out of the lab and it's just going to be uh, wall to wall to the distant horizon of uh, predators and necromancers and, and all that good stuff. I'm a little concerned there. But um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But the first aid skill, getting that up, is going to be pretty important, obviously. With the healing factors we've got going on currently. Um, this way, if we get damaged, we'll really be able to get ourselves out of it a little bit better. Uh, try to sleep again, please. 
Double up that sleep. There we go. Cool. Anytime I go dead tired, I try to uh, sleep it twice. That'll get us back ahead of the uh, fatigue curve. Hey, we got one more bar. Look at that torso finished up on its own there. All right, let's go back and do it again. Do -do 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 -do. Water, 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 water. And oh, we're back to normal weight. That's fine. We're on a we're on a uh, toastum diet right now. Toastum and chocolate bars. Activate ukulele and back to book reading. Hey, we got the ukulele not spamming me. I don't know why it chooses to not spam after the first time. I haven't really figured out the the sequence to not get it to spam me <laughs> on purpose, but uh, we are playing the instrument, so we're getting the bonus. It's just not spamming, which is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and have... I should eat... I should eat the uh, cooked meat. Um, sure. Let's get a fire going. Whoops. Oh, that's right. I ran out of wood again. Um, yeah, let's... All right. I haven't eaten anything yet. Let's let's fix that problem. Activate. Heligan bar. I don't need a lot. I'm only... Flipping it on for uh, occasional uh yeah, it's fine. Uh only flipping on for occasional cooking of meat and stuff. Um how many do we get? Thirty seven, yeah, that'll work. All right. Let's have some uh, cooked meat and a chest full of smoke. Oh, God damn it. Thought I turned that off. <laughs> I was sure I turned that off. Mm -hmm. Outfield. Ukulele, activate ukulele, and have some more of those, and another chocolate bar. All right, let's work on the next book. Two more levels. Oh, great. Now the int requirement is higher, and it's going to be even slower. It might take me a full day to get a level, these last two levels each. If not even more than that. Oh, it's so slow. Yeah, I might go might go dead tired before I get one level done. Come on. Alright, level seven. One more to go. Alright. I'd be unhappy if how long it took if it wasn't so important. And we got another bar of the damaged ones down to just the head and the right arm to finish up. <laughs> meat pizza. Nah. No meat pizza necessary. I wonder if I can put the fire out with my ukulele. <laughs> I wonder if they've uh, coded in putting things out. It's got a bash factor, so it should go out. That's kind of funny. Let's do it. Yay! <laughs> I tapped out the fire, patted it out with my ukulele. That, uh, that amuses me. Alright. That, and... I think I'm gonna go without the, uh... The toastums this time. Let's let's save the rest of the toastums. Uh, get the ukulele going though, and all right, let's get this last level done. And we're back to music spam. Uh, I saw a number go by, couldn't quite catch it. It keeps changing position. Fifty something, I think. Mm 
Eh, maybe not 50 something. There we go, first aid level 8. Uh, we are done with one of the big grinds. For which I am thankful. Alright, uh, now I have to make some more decisions. Do I sit around and get the spell stuff done? I'm going to give it a try. I'll at least learn the spells initially and we'll see how long it's going to take each one to, uh, to go up a level. And then we'll kind of make our decision from there. Oops. <laughs> um, yeah. So I just took an Adderall. <laughs> Accidentally. I think it was an Adderall. My bad. Hit the enter key one too many times. All right. Let's um, activate. No. Let's get the ukulele going. Activate. Study. All right, Druid, yes. You learn nature's bow. Oops, wrong key. Druid rune and nature's bow. Too difficult, not surprising. 350 mana. I've got 869 mana. That's not impressive. Duration 100 turns. That's not a lot of turns. Hmm. I think at max level or at max upgrade, you get 300 turns, if I remember right. Uh. All right. Let's um. Yeah. Let's let's try to. Now I can't cast it. I won't ever succeed because it's too difficult. Um. And our spellcraft. Zero. All right. So this is the thing I mainly want to test right here. How long is this going to take? So if I say... I, I need to level both the spell and the spellcraft skill. So... Uh, what was it, like 3 o'clock when I started? Something like that? 3, 3.30? Youch. Ouch. You gotta be kidding me. One spell level and one level of spellcraft took like 8 hours? Ouchie! That's not good. Must be uh, based just on intelligence, because uh, my focus didn't change. I remember making a comment about um, studying and focus not being involved. There's no fun factor to lower focus or anything, so it must be just straight up based on intelligence. So our low intelligence is going to make this painful. Yeah, it's going to make this painful. Still can't even get a small chance to cast it. Arg. Gonna be maybe if I'm lucky two levels a day if I really push it. So it's gonna be probably three more days of just learning this one spell. I'm not sure I'm willing to do that yet. Um hmm. what else is on this? Do the early electronic stuff. Probably should. Think they fixed alcohol? Alright, we'll find out. 
What will make me really unhappy is if they fixed alcohol but didn't fix the painkillers. If it's intentional the painkillers have damn near zero effect for long periods of time, I'm going to be annoyed. <laughs> I still haven't really heard anybody state, yeah, it's working as intended currently, or that's the way it's going to work from now on. Because if so, I I don't know. That's that's uh, that's some rough consequences. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to not do the spell stuff right now. It's going to take too long for too little reward at the moment. So we'll leave that for now. Um... Let's just have uh, some cheese, some pretzels, pistachios. And let's work on electronics. Let's get the first few levels of electronics done. That'll get me most of the early electronic things that I might need. Hey there, Pablo Rusta. Welcome. Number one, we're tired. Can I push to two, or is it going to be too much? It's probably going to be too much, because I also did the spell. Yeah, let's let's stop. Oh, man. The, uh, the evolution's going to be vicious by the time I get back out of this lab again. <laughs> I mean, I was getting predators on day 12. Uh, I, I don't even want to imagine what's out there on day 24. Or later, when we do actually get out of here. Full health! Hey, well, at least full bars. <laughs> we may not still be full health. It's kind of hard to tell with the bar system, especially with high strength. Back to not getting spam from the ukulele, which is fine. I like seeing the numbers. All right, electronics three. Done with another book. Alright, don't need to push Fab the 10. Not worried about cooking right now. We'll eventually need to get into mutation production. But not now. Uh, piercing to 3. That's actually a maybe depending on what we're going to do with a Screama. What am I going to do with a Screama? Ideally, I'd like the RM42 fighting knife, but we ain't got one. Um, and I don't have a blueprint for one, unfortunately. That would have been nice. So I gotta pick another weapon here. I don't think we got a combat knife from any of the uh, zombies. I'll check, but I don't think so. Survivor machete, I don't have... Uh... Nope, I didn't find a machete. Didn't find a combat knife. There's been so many weird things I haven't found this run that I usually have by now. Oh, uh, let's go back to the list. So, I could probably... Actually, let's do that. Let's check. Um, nope, no combat knife recipe. So I could do the machete and then the survivor machete. I can't do the survivor machete. I don't have a survivor machete recipe. Um, that's too bad. Missing another book. Alright, so, no machete, can't make the combat knife. Hmm. Don't think I can make the kukri. Most of this stuff is found stuff. I can't make most of this stuff that would be worth using. Punch dagger, eh, maybe the punch dagger. I 
do the Tonto. Uh, it's Tonto worth doing. 16 Pierce for 82 moves with Rapid Strikes. Super, super fast. Japanese Long Knife. 16 Pierce plus 2 at 82. Yeah, I would do the Tonto above uh, this one. Let's do the Tonto. So I need some leather. Hey there, leather jacket. Poor fit. Filthy. No, oh, I'm out of soap. <laughs> Oh, of course I am. And I've lost my map memory. That's hilarious. Uh, my kingdom for some, some leather. Hmm. Hmm. Nearest vehicle, unfortunately, is way back up this way. Could go down to the barracks, grab some boots. Yeah, let's do that instead. Let's pop back down to third floor. Oh, I deleted them. Shouldn't have deleted them. Crap. <laughs> um, yeah, crap. Should have left my notes up. Let's leave the uke. Everything else is fine. Really? Oh, that's that. Yeah. Wait, no, I don't think there was one on this floor. Go. All right, who's got what? Two boots, oh, thirty. All right, there we go. That'll give me some leather and some Kevlar. Not that I need the Kevlar anymore. That'll be enough for my immediate needs. Oops. Tired again. This Tonto is going to take a while, I suspect. How long? Yeah, seven hours. We'll sleep first, and we'll try the Tonto. Ah, and I have to be so prepared when we get out there.
Three tantos? Nah, it's just the uh, the replicas and uh, such. There's two that are fake replica types and one that's real. In the debug menu for anybody wondering what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, let's go for a tanto. 82 moves per attack with uh, Rapid Strike, meaning uh, when that fires off, it's only, what, 41 moves per attack and uh, less damage when it does, but since you get two strikes, you're essentially getting uh, even more damage. Uh, but High Pierce, for that'll help a lot with uh, soldiers and things like that. Decent to hit bonus for uh, just hitting, as well as chances for critical hits. And, um, yeah, I think that'll pair well. That'll give me a good alternative. So, six hours and 20 minutes. That's fine. <clears throat> I have to check what, um, what kind of sheath or scabbard it requires. Hey there, Tonto! We have a Tonto. And it requires... Survivor belt, survivor utility belt, ankle sheath, sheath, and hiking backpack. That's the other thing I was still waiting on. I don't have... That's right. I needed the wood saw and the screwdriver set. Three hours. Yeah, let's just do it. I want to get this done. And then the wood saw. Ah, oh, no. I finally ran out. Forge. Whoa, how much? Really? 350 charges? That seems like an awful lot for a wood saw. Hmm. All right. Um... I think I'm just about done actually uh, forging things. Reload. Eject there. Alright. If I remember right, those are the only two things I'm missing. Hopefully I have enough leather. <laughs> hate to have to go out on another leather run. Alright, so, uh, utility belt, need the survivor belt, that needs a sheath, and, uh, crap, here we go again. Sheath is no problem, but I, uh, I don't have enough leather for all those other things. Does I have a leg ammo pouch? Isn't that one of the ones? Ah, nope. Drop leg pouch, not leg ammo pouch. Hmm. Oh, I can do pouches out of that. I forgot. Yeah, it's leather pouches. Alright, I'm gonna have to go get more leather, damn it. That's enough. I never seem to gather enough. Alright, all I need is leather, and we'll get that finished up. Then I can sheath my Tonto in the uh, Survivor Utility Belt, as well as have all of my tools located there, get them out of my general inventory. That'll finish cleaning up yet another item on my list. Uh, for now, 
Point square. Alright, so we got the Tonto in a sheath. Oof. 21 leg encumbrance. I don't like leg encumbrance. Alright, um, so we've got what I think I'll use currently for a uh, melee weapon. Not worried about any of that at the moment. We do have some electronics. I can do stuff. Like battery mods. Hmm, <laughs> and a large water wheel. Uh, I've already played with real-time turn progression. I forget which series I did it in, but um, yeah, I already did some play with it. I didn't like it. It um, yeah, it it doesn't add anything tactically to the game, and uh, it you can cheese it too easily. So, um, yeah, I, it, I just it's just not really built for this kind of gameplay. So. Has there ever been talk on multiplayer add-on? Yeah, lots of it. There's a fork of it, but uh, it's it's been abandoned last time I heard. <laughs> Kevin made it progress in menus now. I still wouldn't like it. It's, it's not the kind of gameplay I'm interested in, so... Don't expect to ever see me do real-time turn progression on uh, on the channel again. It's not the kind of gameplay I'm interested in. All right, what are we going to do now? So, what time of day is it? 9 a.m. Let's go uh, kill some zombies, get some leather, get this stuff finished up. I'd like to get it all done so I've got a nice clean inventory, and then we can get rolling out into the world. Uh, so, let's have, oh, just have a chunk of fat. Let's be unhappy. And anything else I need to take? Bow sling and recurve bow. Sure. All right, now we're stupid encumbered. Let's go see how this works out. How much meat do I have left? 17 chunks still. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's ride our bike. Why wouldn't we? Spitter zombies! Spitter zombies! Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try... Uh, let's see... Good, good shot, Spitter Zombie. Whoa! That was a little more often than I was expecting. Whoops, brought the forge with me. <laughs> Let's not bring the forge with me. That was kind of silly.
And now I got zombies all over the area. shoulder now we're stupid encumbered oh yeah good times all right bicycle I'm doing any damage to him. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of damage through. This is one of the things I wanted to test. It's the ability to do this. <laughs> Oops, ran out of arrows. Uh, can I auto pick up while I drive around? No. Don't think so. Three player. Gotta make another batch of arrows. This thing's break too easy. Alright, so we got all of the leather out of that one. Yeah, I was curious if I could use the uh, the bike tactically with uh, good enough archery and uh, like the great bow once we get up to the compound great bow. Um, I'm going to try to put it to some hilarious use. Alright, there we go. This will work. Besides all of the leather I need. So, we have zombies. What kind of zombies? Not, I'm worried, nothing I'm worried about so far. Let's, um, let's go with no bow for now. That stuff. All right, let's try fighting like this for a second. Tuntu and a Screamer. All right, I want to see how this goes. Come get me, zombies. And we start off with Daze. Yeah, 
Hey, get off the bike. More and more streaming at me. <laughs> Stamina is starting to become a worrisome issue. Um, it's still taking a lot of swings. Nothing too dangerous yet, but I'm not real happy about starting dazed. I'm getting all the negatives. And I shouldn't be fighting next to the bike. a big group over here. Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Whoa! Turn, please. All right, let's do this a little smarter. Do to do to do. Days is gone. Stamina's back. Alright, we'll pick stuff up later. <laughs> what am I hitting for? Fan strike for twenty nine? 32 with a knee strike. Yeah, those are pretty good numbers. All right, let's clean up our mess while we got a moment. Uh, you haven't been able to repair or practice on uh, pipes for a very long time. It's been months. Can't do that anymore. They changed it so you can only reinforce, repair, quote-unquote, cloth items. So pipes no longer work. You can do it with damaged pipes, but it's hard to find damaged pipes and hard to create damaged pipes. So if you're trying to go from mechanics 0 to 1, it's much easier just to get some nails and planks. Build yourself four wooden frames, start a new vehicle, add a box, start a new vehicle, add a box, and you'll be at Mechanics 1, and go from there. Assuming you have decent focus. Don't do it with, like, focus 13, like you see I've got. Make sure you've got focus 100, or higher, when you do it. And it uh, should only take four wooden frames. You'll go zero to, zero to one mechanics with uh, four wooden frames if you have focus 100. So, very quick and easy. You can do it pretty much anywhere. Planks and nails you can get anywhere except for an in-woods situation. And then from there you can do other stuff. Alright. Uh, do I try to get stuff out of the vehicle right now? I know as soon as I do this, they're just instantly going to come after me. 27 minutes. Yeah, they're, they're just going to instantly come after me. i got to clear more of the local area here. Picking locks to train your, your mechanic skill is super slow. There are other ways to do it. If you have uh, empty crates that you know about, you can go seal, unseal, seal, unseal crates. That'll also do it fairly quickly. That's a little more situational, though. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> augmentative tech. On a brainless zombie. Augmentative tech. Yeah, that might have dropped from one of these other zombies, I guess. Alright, I think the bat side's fairly clear. I just need to get rid of this group over here. Taking a little bit of damage. We are getting hit once in a while. Ooh, my survivor backpack. Um... That'll have to be cautious about. Alright, let's give it a try. <laughs> Where are you? Come on, get out of there. Damn it! I don't care if you hit me, I care if you hit my backpack. Man, I've only got two of these seats out so far. Actually, I want good condition ones, preferably. Alright, I think that's gonna be enough. Forty leather patches? That had better be enough. Alright, what else hit the ground? Don't care, don't care. Um eh, maybe I care a little bit. Cell phone for the battery. Chocolate bars. 